Hi, everyone, and welcome to the session. We'll dive into how to easily get started with Elastic and begin ingesting some live data to explore what's possible with Elastic. This is a great session if you're new to Elastic and looking for how to get started. And it's also, great, it's also a great way to see different ingest methods in action. And we'll be actually using the Elastic agent, which is pretty new so far. So in this session, we'll be focusing on Elastic Cloud, which is the official managed service for Elasticsearch since 20, 2012. It comes with the latest Elastic features, including all commercial capabilities. You can run your workload on any of the major cloud providers, such as Azure, GCP, or AWS, and keep your clusters close to the rest of your stack. Most of you are probably familiar with Elastic for search and monitoring use cases. That's very common in the industry, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Elastic has been adopted for a number of different use cases across not just search and observability, but for security, for threat de detection, for monitoring, for custom solutions in the areas of analytics, fraud detections, compliance monitoring, and a lot more. But in this session, we're going to focus in on observability data, and we'll bring in logs and metrics from a system, and we'll look at how easy it is to get started with monitoring one particular host. But you can do a lot more with observability, such as we can begin to use observability for comprehensive monitoring solution to collect system traces and uptime data to get better visibility into all your services in our single one stack. So with that, let's dive in. I'll switch over to a live demo now. So in order to get started with Elastic, head over to Elastic.co. From here, you can click on Get Started or simply log in, and it'll take you to Elastic Cloud. Here, you can sign up for a 14-day free trial by putting in your email address or password or use Google or Microsoft sign. I'll sign into my existing account. So once you log in, you'll have the option presented to create a deployment or start a free trial. So creating a deployment basically entails creating an Elasticsearch cluster with all the Elasticsearch components like Kibana, APM, and other things like that as well. You can fine tune where you want to deploy it, deploy it if you want a particular cloud provider or if you want to deploy it in a particular region as well. So go ahead and click that create deployment button and give it about five minutes for your deployment to be fully spun up. I'll switch over now to a deployment that I've already pre-created. So let me click into that deployment. From Elastic Cloud, I can see a lot of information about some endpoints. Uh, the instances itself, the status of the of the deployment, but we're not going to spend too much time in Elastic Cloud. We're actually going to head over to Kibana, which is the in interface for Elastic. So if you click on Open Kibana, this is now going to launch the Kibana instance for my deployment. So in order to get started with monitoring now, you can use some of the built-in guides within Kibana to help you do that. Today, we're gonna to focus on Elastic Agent. So Elastic Agent is a single agent that you can deploy on a host and have that collect data for you, such as logs and metrics. So we're gonna scroll down. You can see a list of all the different supported integrations we offer today. There's a lot of integrations for cloud providers like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. There's applications that are supported like MongoDB, Apache, and things like that as well. We're just going to scroll down all the way to system. So if you're just looking to get a quick understanding of how Elastic works, this is a great way. The system integration can basically be installed on any system, such as a laptop. So we're going to click on add system. You can give the integration a name. We'll just keep it as system two. And you can check off which types of data you want to collect from your system. So we're going to keep logs enabled. We'll uncheck Windows event log, and we'll keep metrics on first for our host as well. And lastly, you can select the policy. But since we're just starting out, we can stick with the default. Then you can click on Save Integration. Okay. So after you click on Save Integration, the next order of business is to add in a host, or sorry, add in an agent. So I'll scoot over to what's called the fleet page. So under the left navigation, we'll go to fleet. And here we can click on add agent. So an agent is a lightweight 
service that lives on your endpoint or on your device or on your host. And it's running in the background and sends over data from your host over to Elasticsearch. So the first step to do is to actually go and download the agent itself. So if you click on, go to the downloads page, you can click on uh, one of the agent packages that best fits your system. So if you're running on a MacBook, for example, you can just click on Mac. This will just download it to your laptop. Next, you can choose a specific agent policy if you wish, but if you're just starting out, the default policy is just fine. And last is uh, if you head on back to your terminal and unpack the agent download that you just downloaded from step one and navigate into that folder. So for example, I have it unpacked to Elastic Agent 714.1 and then simply run this command that you can see in Kibana. So you can run that, paste it here. Let me do a better copy and paste. And then this will install the Elastic Agent onto your device. So once you install this, give it a few minutes and then you'll start to see some data coming come over to your cluster. So what does that data look like? So let's have a look. I already have a pre-installed agent running on my computer, so we can peek into that. So if I go back to the left nav, under observability, there's a few different applications that you can see. We'll start with metrics. So under metrics, you can see that there's one host that's showing right away as soon as I click into the metrics application. So this page shows you all the different hosts that are currently being monitored so far. So if I click on one of them, the only one that I have here, it gives me a snapshot into lots of different pieces of information about that particular host. So under the metrics tab, I can see some basic out of the box metrics that we're already collecting right off the bat. So I can see CPU usage. I can see some, some memory usage, some network activity and some log, a log rate as well. If I click on the log tab, I'll get a quick view into uh, log events that we're collecting as part of, from the agent as well. Under processes, it gives me an, an idea of active processes that are running on my laptop. So as, as you can imagine, there's a Chrome application running that's taking up a lot of time and it's picking up a bit of my resources as well. And next there's some metadata around my host as well. So you can see that it is indeed a MacBook and with the proper IP addresses and so forth. Lastly, Elastic also supports uh, anomaly detection. So I've enabled it for my machine, but there isn't anything an an anomalous so far since I've only recently started to track this. But there's a lot of interesting things you can do with the data that you've already have here. So for example, I can choose to set up an inventory rule based off of the metrics. So for example, I click on inventory rule, I can create something called CPU alert. And here I can say that once my CPU usage goes above, let's say 20%, to, I can decide to pick an action if that event happens. So let's say I'll do an email. So I'll send out an email once my CPU reaches, reaches 20% and I'll call that email CPU warning. Very simple and then I can hit save and then that will automatically monitor the CPU metric and if it ever reaches 20%, it'll send out an email to devatelastic.com. So let's discard that. Let's how do I head on over to the log viewer. As I mentioned, we're also collecting some logs on my host as well. From here, if you click on this, the stream application under logs, you can see a live tail of all the logs that are being collected from my machine. You can highlight, you can search, you can sort, and you can also narrow down by date as well if you're trying to do some analysis on some particular event that might have happened in your application. That's a quick overview of some of the observability applications that you can see right out of the box with just a few minutes. Let's head on over to dashboard now. The Elastic Agent also installs some pre-canned dashboards as well. So if you want, you can get a more comprehensive view and turn this into uh, some type of monitoring dashboard if you want so your team easily has access to it. So for example, if I click on metric system host overview, 
it'll give me a quick snapshot detailing a lot of different metrics about my particular host. So you can see some traffic activity, the number of processes running, memory usage, CPU usage, and a few other important metrics as well. All out of the box without much work required. So next, let's switch over to what's called the Discover page. So under Analytics on the left-hand menu, you can click on Discover. And the Discover application in Kibana just gives you a raw output of all the, the documents in, in your index. So if you're looking to explore and kind of get a sense of what the data actually looks like and if you want to query on it, this is a great place to do that. So we're collecting out of the, from out of our integration so far, there's two index patterns set up, one called logs and another one called metrics. So here you can, you'll see the latest documents that are collected. You can expand this if you want and see the full, full document and have a look at it as well. I've created a few pre-canned uh, searches. So let's have a look at what some of the logs in the log index pattern looks like. So you can see here, it's from my, my host that these logs are being generated for. It's this host name, this version, and log level is info. And then you can see a quick message about that particular log as well. And you can, you can also see the service name on my computer that's actually generated that log event as well. So it's a quick way to get a quick view in terms of what that structure looks like. On the metric side, you can also see the raw data here as well if you choose to. So if I want to, for example, explore some of the, pro the processes that are running on my machine and just see what the, like I'll, the snapshot of data of that looks like in my Elasticsearch cluster, I can get a quick view of that here. So for example, the last ping about the Zoom process is showing me that it's taking about 1.7% of, of my RAM and about 4.4% of my, my CPU usage. That's great if you wanna just explore something in more detail and get a quick idea of like um, how the data looks in general. So that was a quick view in terms of what you can do with Elastic with just, with just a few minutes of setting up a host on any machine and exploring some of the pre-canned out of the box functionality that's available with, within Elastic. So now I'm gonna switch back over to the presentation. So where can you go from here? It's super easy to get started. Head on over to elastic.co and spin up a free trial to explore Elastic on your own. We support a number of different use cases that I mentioned previously, whether you need to be able to search all your documents at once within your organization or monitor your cloud infrastructure, Elastic has you covered. If you wanna speak with a member of our team, simply contact us and we'll be happy to walk you through a number of different topics such as sizing, migration, and a lot more. And if you're already using Elasticsearch on-premises or on AWS, check out our handy migration guide that lays out some options on how to migrate your data over to Elastic Cloud very quickly. And if you're not yet using Elastic, check out our detailed migration guide, our, our detailed migration ebook, I should say, that gives you a comprehensive guide on all things migration from planning all the way to execution. This is a great resource if you're running an application, something like Splunk or New Relic, and you're looking to explore Elastic. This has a lot of helpful information to take you on that path. And that wraps up our session. I hope you enjoyed it and have fun with the rest of the conference. Thank you.